Yeah, see that son of a bitch is just going back and forth. So let's just go. We could try and jump over it. Oh yeah, there we go. See, now that's why the jumping jacks are actually useful. Here we're crafting the plasma scrapper. This thing is badass. Not only does it cut faster, but it also gives you more materials too, so it's just awesome. Uh, here we find another blowtorch in an Arda investigator and also I've been harvesting armored panels and doors and we have just about enough of the red crystals to make our engine. We're just short on two. Okay. This audio recording came out of nowhere. Arda, you're not gonna find me. Buzz off. Thank you. The other day, I got to thinking, I'm always running from the weird stuff that happens out here. But what if instead... I could be friendly. So I cut out. <laughs> Y'all, I did it. You know those like goopy, glowy, floaty rocks, the ones that come out of nowhere, chase you, and mess up your car? Well, I found a few just away from the cabin, and now I have one in the shed. Its name is Sam. Yeah, I don't know what I did to trigger that recording. It just, like I said, came out of nowhere. It was kind of weird. Uh, see, here, here we're trying to make the parts locker, but my scrapper was in the, the way of the button in the lower right-hand corner, which was really weird, so I had to back all the way back out, and then it behaved. things off the floor so we can use the vacuum again. I did discover however that it won't let you put more than one part in one locker which sucks because there's plenty of space but it doesn't work that way. Here we're making the crude flashlight. thing is very bright. It's awesome. Here we're making the, the Tech 2 or Advanced Workbench. And oddly enough, as far as I can tell anyways, it doesn't look any different than the Tech 1. Uh, here we're making a lead-lined lab coat for 40% radiation resistance. Pretty damn good. Takes lots of lead, though. And finally, we found the Tech, the high-tech steering wheel. Uh, seems like you can get most of those things out of these uh, little box trucks here. Welcome back, everybody, to Pacific Drive. I am the Bearded OG, and in this episode, if all goes according to plan, we should be hitting the mid zone. Uh, so let's see. The want to want to get you caught up a couple things here. The this thing is sort of kind of working now. Um, if we go to the um, the mirror, it now says install. Whereas before it said installed uh, in a couple episodes ago when I was when this thing seemed to be bugging out. So I don't know. I don't know if they issued some kind of a hot fix 
or something to fix it. But uh, we can now install uh, our wizard and we can now install our, um, well, actually we have to click down here to re remove it from installed to install, but that was not working that way a couple episodes ago when I was having trouble because I clicked on the item many times and it didn't change. Uh, but anyway, that gets us our surfboard. <laughs> That's cool looking. Uh, surfboard on the mirror and our wizard hanging now down from the uh, the rear view mirror. Uh, no, I'm sorry, surfboard on the antenna. Um, I also now have my shock absorber stick shifter and I have my high-tech steering wheel installed. So pretty cool stuff there on the car. Um, let's see, what else do we need to do here? Uh, I wanted to make sure that this occurred to me later. Yeah, see, I've had I, I've replaced a couple of these panels or swapped them out, and we need more. We need to paint those, and I'm completely out of paint space now, too. By the way, um, I think we had that, and we also had the white stripes on the hood, if I recall correctly. So the hood is painted blue. Let's put that there and then apply this decal. Was it white stripes or was it black stripes? I don't remember now. I think we I think we had, had done black stripes, but Whoops. The white stripes don't look bad, though, actually. And, yeah, we had the animal thing, uh, animal design for the chassis there, so that's good. Yeah, let's go, uh, let's go with the white stripes for now. I think that'll be all fun. Okay. And then we need to paint, uh, I think it was a panel on this side. Yeah. need to make that blue. I just got an achievement. Personal methods of creative expression are highly encouraged. <laughs> okay. This door seems to have a black stripe along the bottom. Whereas this one does not. Hmm. Yeah, that's odd. I wonder if we need to... Where is the paint stripper? Matcha paint. Uh, oh. Oh, that's the paint stripper. Okay. Now let's go back to the blue paint. There. Okay, so that got rid of the stripe. I must have accidentally applied the decal to that, I guess. Because I only want the stripes on the hood in the trunk. Okay, so that should be good. Um, I ended up also replacing my off-road tires because, you know, the, the older they get, the more frequently they break down. So I was having to always fix flats and wobbly tires, uh, even though the tire itself was, was you know, in, in overall good condition. So I completely replaced those. Uh, but I got a pretty generous amount of rubber and stuff back from the old tires to, you know, at least partially make up for that. I think that's pretty much it for decoration stuff. So yeah, the finally, you know, finally all the design thingies are working. Um, I found this How's My Driving sticker, so I, I swapped that out. We'll try different stickers as we go along there. And uh, let's put this stuff back in here for now. Okay, so let's see here. Um, if you take, or if we take a look, rather. Let's put this over here. If we take a look here and go to the engine, you can see that I am only two crystals, uh, two thermosap crystals away uh, from being able to make this turbo light engine. And I would like to have this engine installed before we go into the mid zone. Uh, so our first order of business is to go try and find a couple more of those crystals. 
I did discover um, last night when I was out and about, you know, just grinding and doing stuff, that if you blow up the tourists, you have a, a chance of getting a crystal from them. So most of the crystals that I have gotten, I've gotten from, you know, breaking down armored panels and doors. What I would do is I would use the... I would use the thingy that allows us to take those panels off whole, bring them back here, repair them inside of here, uh, and then I would feed them into here for crystals. And it appears to me that if you take the time to repair them first, you get more materials than if they're already partially broken down. I, I can't say that for 100% certainty, but it sure seemed that way. Uh, we got another fax here. I thought you mentioned Jeff. Jeffers? I can't seem to remember. Things go blah, 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 blah. <laughs> this is This fax machine just comes up with a bunch of gibberish. Uh, okay, so as you saw in our little opening scene there, we uh, now have the uh, the plasma um, uh, scrapper. And, you know, like I mentioned too, this thing is really good because it is not only faster, but you get more material from it too. So it's, it's just fantastic. Uh, we also got the new flashlight here, which is incredibly bright. And so we got that, and it's, and it's supposed to last longer than the, uh, you know, than the relightable flare torch thing module that we were using before. This is now a an advanced workbench, even though it looks exactly the same as the normal workbench. And we got the lockers, uh, the parts lockers here, which is cool. Um, one thing I do need to do though, and we're going to do this actually next. Notice I have five and a half unstable energy and twenty three point eight normal, uh, or stable. Uh, I want to start doing the, at least with one of these lockers, the pneumatic. Um, looks like we need to make a circuit board because, you know, I've been out and about so much and I just got so many parts and materials and stuff, which is great, but, um, you know, we're continuing to run out of space. So let's see, I need to go to here. Yeah, so let's make a circuit board with that and then... I think it just said we needed one circuit board, right? I don't know. We'll see. Then we got this, had this weird scrolling up here thingy. And there we go. Okay. So let's make our first pneumatic locker, this one here. Uh oh wait a minute. Yeah, uh oh here we go. Okay. So apparently what this does is it takes your materials and stores them in a big underground area or something like that. Um, the the downside to it is you no longer have the really nice, you know, visual that you had before. But um, the capacity on these is supposed to be practically unlimited. And I'll probably be doing that upgrade to all the rest of them too eventually, but we'll just we'll just start with this one. The other thing I want to do with this is I want to go to our car storage and I want to do trunk in a trunk look at that very nice I like the fact too that it doesn't it no longer has those dividers uh, the dividers make sense though it's because it's basically simulating you know multiple different sizes of boxes uh, but just to have one big storage area is going to be really nice and of course if we press the y key we can have it automatically uh, sort now we could also let's see we have three unstable power left uh, we could also go with this roof uh, storage that's going to require corrupted energy there because um, I'm, I'm not doing anything with my roof racks. So we could put a roof storage on there, and we could also put some lights up there. Uh, because I've been in a couple of zones that have something called um, mysterious darkness or something, and the whole zone is just really dark. I mean, like like the darkest night you can imagine kind of dark. So having I did have the side lights, but there's too many other things that I want on side storage. So let's do this. Let's go ahead and make this. And, okay, and then we'll make the, the storage here, which is here. And we're going to put that on this roof rack. Oh, wow, look at that. That is a lot of storage space. 
Fantastic. Okay. <laughs> it consists of fuel cans and boxes. That's just funny. The, the funny thing, too, is, you know, it rains a lot, so those boxes would disintegrate, but whatever. Uh, and then the other thing I think we'll do is we'll make the um, the roof lights, which I think are these. Also, might we might consider making these insulated lights. What is this? A bio flare. Um, it's a neon infused bio material. <laughs> We're going to have to learn it in order to get to these other ones anyways, but, well, let, here, let's do this first. And then we'll make uh, the roof lights here. What are we... Uh, oh, swamp coral. Oh, shit. Okay, we need swamp coral for the, to make the large backpack, too, so we won't be hitting that until we get to the mid zone. All right, well, that's fine. We needed to learn it eventually anyways. Um, we could go with these thermal lights, so that'll at least help with that. What is this? Auto tracking spotlight. This tracking spotlight has been configured to respond to the follow to follow the movements of your headset. Consider it your extra flashlight. Um Well, that seems more useful than just having these lights. How much we got? 1.7 unstable? Yeah. Uh, I wonder if we can actually make this one. Probably not. I'll bet you that needs like swamp coral or something. To... Yeah, swamp coral. Okay. Um, yeah, I, I, I would think this is going to be a lot more useful than these. Maybe these provide more light, though, but if it's going to follow me around, sure, why not? Especially in those really dark zones. Um, okay. Go back to here, and we're going to learn the, uh, the thermal lights. We need corrupted energy for that. What are these? Bio headlights. Marrying limb technology with the zone's curious bioluminescence, this light projects a powerful, intensely focused being. It's probably best not to think about whether it might be alive. <laughs> okay, uh, but I, I, I can see here that this probably indicates we need coral for it. Um, so for now, let's let's learn the insulated headlight because I'm constantly having to fix those damn lights. All right. Then what we'll do is we'll go here. They give us two, right? Yeah, it did. Okay. Oh, I'm going to change something in the settings, too. Let's go to gameplay. And I want to go to... Basically, this lets you swap a part that's in your hand, and you don't have to... It, it saves a step. And, and you know, as long as it takes to do all this stuff, I think uh, I'd like to do that. So now we can just automatically... Oh, I like that. Cool. Swap these. Um, put this one in the hand. Wait a minute. What? Okay, hold on. There we go. Yeah, just a nice little quality of life change there. Um, how... I didn't even pay attention to how expensive those were to make. Not really that expensive. Okay. So, yeah, let's just melt down the other light bulbs. And when we come in from the shop the next time, I'll make another pair of those that we'll use to um, put in the matter thingy this guy uh, but we might as well repair those up because we, we'll probably get a little bit more stuff back from them okay now we should I picked all the extra parts up that were in here so we should be able to start utilizing this again 
I just haven't been using it because I had, you know, like at least a half a dozen different parts that were on the floor, and every time I would use it, it would pick them up, and then I'd have to pull them back out and throw them back down again. It was not worth the hassle, so I would use my hand vac a lot, you know, to pick that stuff up. Okay, um, can I just do a... Wait a second. All right, let's put these... Let's put these parts away. That goes in there, and that goes in there. That goes in there. Yeah, having that unlimited storage is going to be great. And then we want our basketball out of here. Oh, hands only. Okay. <laughs> That's really hard to do. What if we um, do like a slam dunk? Yeah, I don't know. That doesn't seem to work. Anyway, okay. I think that's all we're going to do here at the shop. So the plan is for us to go out and... Let's see. We Let's look at this. Yep, car's in good shape. There's Looks like there might be one or two things that... Why is that white colored? There might be one or two things that are not 100%, but everything's in really good condition. I can't believe how much st storage space that is. That is just amazing. Almost to the point where we could maybe do away with the side storage and put some extra fuel tanks or something out here. Uh, I got the side battery. I'm not sure. Uh, that actually could stand to use a little touch up too, but. I think we'll wait just a little bit longer. Oh. We need to get these. Yeah, so with with this roof storage, which appears to me to have more storage than both of these combined. We could remove those in. Let's see. What do I? What do I currently have? This is. That's the lightning rod charger. That is another side storage. Those are side floodlights. And that's an extra fuel tank. But I also have. I also have the. This fuel tank in here. Almost never run out of fuel. Uh, or have an issue with that. I have been on a couple of pretty long runs too. Uh, this is the auto parker. I do have the little bouncy bounce thing, but I took it out because I wasn't using it that much and it does damage the car. Uh, it's It would be useful for trying to hop over, you know, barricades and things like that though. Um, I'm just, yeah, decisions, decisions, man. Tell you what, let's do this. Let's take... Let's take you off of here. And I think what we'll do is we'll put our lightning rod back on because that gives us a charge when we get close to anything that arcs. And... We could also put side storage, floodlights, or the side fuel tank. Yeah, those are the jump jacks. I'm I'm thinking about taking the auto parker back out. Cause it's it's useful, but it, it can also be sometimes it can be a pain in the ass. Like for example, if you park the car on in an incline. As soon as you touch this door, it put it doesn't even wait for you to get in the car. It puts it into to drive, and then the car will start rolling down the hill. Um, so maybe what we'll do is let's put the jack thing back in because it is useful in certain situations if we're willing to take a little bit of damage. Okay, so we'll put that back in. 
Um, and then finally, for the side, why don't we take this off and let's put those floodlights back on, which were in here. And we'll just have to, you know, if we end up using these, we'll just have to um, make sure that the driver's side of the car is facing the direction that we want to light up. Oh, you know, the other thing I was thinking about is I tend to take more damage in the front than in the back. So we should actually be able to just do this, right? Yeah, so I want to swap out these bumpers. Oh my god, look at that. That's hilarious how that sticks out like that. It looks cool, actually. Okay, so yeah, I think that's good for our, our current car modifications. Um, we are going to need to reassign some stuff here. So let's go here. I want the... I want the... Yeah, I want the limb charger to be... In there. Let's make... Let's put the... Yeah, let's put the floodlights there. And we'll put the jumping jacks there. Okay. Cool. One of you guys said in the comments that this car looks like something from um, Ghostbusters. <laughs> I think it does. It's kind of cool. I just really like the design of the, you know, the insulated stuff. And we do run into a lot of electrical anomalies out there. That's for sure. All right, guys. I think we're ready to get started here. Um, uh, yeah, so, so everything is here. I think... I don't know if the dumpster has anything for us or not. No, it doesn't. Okay. Oh, yeah, we should probably put these away, huh? Yeah, so I didn't have to open those up. I just press E. Or, I'm sorry, I press the mouse button. And it just puts them in there. Very nice. Uh, okay, so it looks like I've already, I must have already sc scanned our, our route. So the plan is, is we're going to go out and we're going to try and find two more crystals. And actually, two. I'm going to use flare guns rather than normal flares because they're just easier to use. Looks like I have some in there, too. So those will stack up to three. All right, so number one. Did I store my... Wait, what did I do with my plasma? What did I do with my plasma um, scrapper? Uh... Did I store it in here? No, because it would be under here. That's a normal scrapper that I, I found in some loot, by the way, and it's got the little star on it. Um, oh, you know what? We Whoops. We need to... Uh, I guess I'll assign this to number one. What the hell did I do with my plasma scrapper, man? Oh, shit. It's kind of an expensive thing to lose. Did I put it in here? Whoops. Oh, yeah, I put it in there. Okay, good. All right, here. Let's, um... No, I didn't. That was... That, wait a minute. That's a backup. What did I do with my plasma scrapper? Going crazy. Okay, here. Let's try this. If I accidentally dropped it on the floor... No, but we had a 9-volt battery on the floor. Hmm. I don't know. I, I don't know what happened to it. It's, uh... I didn't put it up here, did I? Yeah, this is a, this is a backup plasma scrapper that I had made. Oh, well. Whatever. That kind of sucks, but... 
I don't know what I did with it. I obviously didn't drop it because it would have been sucked up in the vac uh, the vacuum. Itty hoozle. Um, yeah. Okay. So we're so we're gonna do. Uh, what I'm actually gonna do is. Let's just put these flares in here. And. We'll grab this new plasma scrapper, and this will just be our backup. Oh, I was going to look and see what the star meant. That's status. Peculiar. Looks like the zone has smiled upon you today. This part will last only as long as... Last you only as long as it holds together. It's just like they say, if you love it, take it out for a ride and then let it go. I don't know what the hell that actually means, but okay. <laughs> maybe it has a little more durability or something, or maybe less durability? Who knows? Okay, so we'll assign this to slot one, and we'll assign these to uh, these to slot six. And that way we can shoot to uh, tourists with those. All right. I mean, maybe. Maybe it wore out. I didn't. I thought. I thought I still had a lot more um, durability left on it, but I don't know. <laughs> I'll have to look back at the video and try to figure it out. I didn't put it in here. No, I don't think it lets me put it in here. Pretty sure I didn't accidentally feed it into there, though. That's a possibility, I suppose. Anyway, all right. So everything is fully charged. So yeah, the deal is is that we want to go uh, to a zone that has some tourists just to get those last two crystals so we can build that engine. Um, so I've I've scanned both of these areas up here. If we go through this one, we can get some more unstable energy. But it also has... Oh, it's got that anchor ob uh, obfuscation. I think... I think that's where we're going to need this. This guy here. Let's just learn it. Because that is seems to be suggesting to me that we won't be able to see the anchors, or at least not see them very well, in the normal manner. Okay, yeah, let's not let's not use it right yet, just because it. Uh, I'm sure it's gonna use some durability on it. Okay, so we could go here. Um, it's got a decent amount of unstable energy. It doesn't have any tourists, though. It's got shocked tourists, but they, they drop plasma. They don't drop crystals, at least as far as I'm aware. And it doesn't look like it has an investigator or a... Um, the the car that has the armored plating on it. I can't remember what it's called. So it would make sense to go there, though, to get the unstable power. What is this? See, that has shocked tourist. It does have an, an art investigator. This has a couple of things we haven't. Uh, oh, abandoned squire. That's the one that and investigator. Okay, so this would have two vehicles that could potentially have um, some armored panels that we could get our last two crystals from. But it doesn't have, it doesn't seem to have just normal tourists. That one doesn't have normal tourists either. Okay, so I think I think this highway will take us all the way here though. I don't know if I don't know if we if we go through. Well, this is the highway zone. All right. Yeah, let's go here first because we have Arda investigator. Um or we could go here to get the unstable energy, but there's nothing there that I'm looking at. That could give us crystals that I'm aware of. 
It looks like we might be able to go from here to here, though. Well, let's just try it and see what happens. Oh, there's one thing I'm forgetting. We need to uh, we need to get caught up on our reading. So as usual, uh, if you guys uh, don't want to listen to the reading, I'll put a timestamp that you can fast forward into, uh, fast forward to. Uh, and also, I'm I'm going to have another audio recording uh, clip to play for you too. So, logbook. We've got Art of Fuel Tanker. Uh, by the early... I, I mean, I've run into these, but I, I forgot to scan them until very recently. Uh, by the early 1960s, gasoline was vital to the production of electric, electricity. Portable diesel generators became the primary way of powering the majority of structures and equipment within the zone, and we were almost useless without it. Power grids were failing daily, even several times a day. Batteries drained with preternatural speed, and even shielded equipment was frequently degrading or producing inexplicable malfunctions. Entire convoys of tankers crisscrossed the peninsula. We piped in untold gallons of the stuff every day, adding more industrial sized piping alongside all the fresh water we were trying to pull in. When everything else failed, good old petrochemicals still did their job. We must have pumped so much lead in the air into the zone for it to scramble into the omelet it was forever making of our world. I guess that was about the time more and more animal life was dying off. God, did we just make things even worse? Yeah, probably. Uh, okay, let's go to here. Overcharged electricity due to increased ambient limb field energy. All electro electrical damage taken in this part of the zone is increased. Ah, yeah, that sucks. Anchor party. Chance coincidence or an attempt to control instability mean this part of the zone is crammed with anchors. Ooh, wow. Okay, that'll be a, that'll be a good one to go to. Shocking speed. Uh, basically, what this means is if you get zapped, then your car plummets forward and crashes you into a tree or something. It's actually not very fun. Intense radiation. Hot dust in this part of the zone is especially intense. I need to actually scan hot dust too. Um, because apparently I haven't. Uh, it will be, you know, just more damage from the radiation. Gravity of the situation. Anomalies associated with low gravity are even more effective in this part of the zone. So this would be like things like the air wall, I'm thinking. It'll shoot you even higher up into the air. Uh, this is the darkness I was talking about. So you go into one of these zones and it's like like the darkest night you could imagine, kind of dark. And yeah, it's kind of eerie. Uh, all right, so that's that. Marsh eggs. Somehow or another, I came across a marsh egg and I have not been into the mid zone yet. So I don't know how I found it, but it was in my stuff. The organic material within these soft shells displays a remarkably even alarming ability to regrow itself when harmed. If it could be synthesized with organic or semi-organic compounds, the applications could be remarkable we're gonna need these to make some of the you know so, some of the better stuff like the blowtorch for example but yeah I don't know how I how I came across that um, we got armored door yeah okay the uh, impact resistance and explosion resistance is what those give us and armored panel okay um, Again, maybe I was late scanning that. I'm not sure why that's coming up because we've been getting those for quite some time now. <coughs> and let's see, we also have utilities. A trunk a trunk in the trunk. To add insult to in injury 250 years after winning their independence, Americans nationwide are enjoying bigger trunks than ever before. The trunk of one American car can easily fit six British vehicles. <laughs> okay. Um, new anomalies... Or, or, I'm sorry, status effects. Bald? Okay, yeah, that's when the tires start to degrade. Worn? That's also when the tires start to degrade. <laughs> and busted. Uh, maybe it's a leaky gasket. Maybe you finally blew a piston. You could just be low on oil or suffering the consequences of a second rate of second rate gasoline. Whatever the case, you're now running on 50 less horsepower, and that just doesn't cut it. Better hope it doesn't backfire at a bad time. Damn, is that our engine? Ha Does our engine have that status? No, it doesn't. Hmm. Okay, I don't know. I'm not sure where that came up, uh, or how that came up, but parts lockers. Uh, yeah, parts locker where you store lockers. Pneumatic locker says it's a subterranean archive. We we pretty much know how all that stuff works. Bobbleheads the bartender. 
Can I perhaps interest you in a non-alcoholic beverage? Okay, yeah, I actually have the bartender uh, on the dash right at the moment. Boat ornaments. The bee. What's all the buzz about? And the castle. Fortify your defenses. And the wire replacement. <laughs> That's funny. Did someone s seriously use a hanger for that? Okay. Um, shifter. I found the eight ball shifter. Co cosmetic shifter sticks may seem silly, but this one might actually be comfortable. Crowbar shifter. We found that too. I like the shock absorber shifter though. We're going to keep that one on for now. And let's see. Steering wheels. We found the go-kart steering wheel. For the frivolous driver, this particular cosmetic hints that everything is just a game. And the high-tech steering wheel. Maybe some of the buttons are for show, but it's still fun, right? Stickers. How's my driving sticker? This probably won't... This probably wouldn't answer anyways. Okay, and... Decals. With this design, you'll barely leave a trace. Sketchy. I don't. We have, we, maybe we should try that. I don't know what. I don't know what that actually um, looks like. Burnt orange paint. Uh, is it getting hot in here, or is is that just you? Actually, thermal exchange means that your presence will obviously contribute heat to the environment. So it's actually kind of both. Right. Brown paint. Pacific brown echoes the musty tones of the wild northwest, calling to the mind the crispy spray of young skunk. <laughs> <laughs> Young skunk. Sudden slips on rainy slopes and discovery of fresh mud tracked across living room carpets. Yes, indeed. Government yellow paint. Officially adopted by the state of Washington, government yellow has been assigned to civic vehicles and zone service car cars. Show your solidarity by following suit. Okay. I would be curious to to see what this um, sketchy decal looks like, just because I have no clue. We have some um, more logs here. So let's see, anomaly studies. One of the earliest consistently reported anomalies, this mimicked many artificial noises made in its presence, a tiny burrowing bottle-shaped anomaly. This would surface and imitate engine noises, radio static, or in particular sirens. Studying these was difficult as they approached as those approaching them suffered immediate nausea and dizziness. Sightings dropped to zero soon after the first crawlers manifested. Okay. Anomaly studies three. Sighted consistently between late 1959 and early 1961, this anomaly was attracted to any transmitters broadcasting at particularly shortwave bands. About the size of a bird, roughly spherical, chrome-like, and able to fly through unknown means, this anomaly... Uh, uh, anomaly would latch itself to broadcast antenna and begin to dissolve or perhaps consume the metal. Stubborn and difficult to dislodge, this anomaly began to disappear when zone personnel began using different frequencies. Localized patches of this anomaly appeared throughout fringe areas of the zone between 67 and 68. Thin, waist-height, grass-like structures would spring up overnight. These were topped with variously colored bulbs that would frequently combust with the slightest friction. This anomaly was aggressively cold whenever it was found and has not been reported since 68. I wonder if we'll, I wonder if we'll run into some of these again, you know, if they'll resurface, because most of them seem to have been anomalies that are no longer around. Lab reports too. It appears that a combination of the correct conductive materials, limb-enhanced electromagnetic induction, and a bombardment of electrons can substantially accelerate radioactive decay. So far... The figures suggest we can now accelerate the decay of U-235 by as much as 8%, while R-222 is accelerated by as much as 12%. We remain cautiously optimistic. I don't think it's unrealistic to expect to reach values as high as 20%, which has enormous implications for the future treatment of nuclear waste. Not to mention that we can, uh, what we can do to mitigate the changes we're experiencing in the zone. Okay. Um... SRR meetings. Meeting minutes. September 6, 1949. Agenda. Celebration of the founding of SRR. What our future will look like. Address by Dr. Ophelia Turner. Open ideation session with consultation from Oppie. 
Arising concerns, proper safety procedure, action items, society agreed to regular monthly meetings, Dr. Reginald Stanley to take notes and format minutes, AOB and manners arising, tea cake tasting courtesy of visiting professor, yada, yada, yada. Okay. Um, I'll tell you what. I think that this is just kind of fluff stuff. It doesn't seem super germane to the story. So pause the screen and read that if you're interested. I think I'm going to not read it out loud. It does kind of give you a little bit of a background on Ophelia Turner herself, though, it, it appears. Talks a little bit about side effects of limb technology. Okay. Um, and that gets us caught up on our logbook. Um, I'm going to play a, a little audio sequence that I ran into out in the field, and then we will uh, continue on here. Sadly, that's about where the cold, hard facts end. Listeners, I tried. I really did. I started my investigation in the usual fashion, digging up every piece of public record I could get. The paperwork is maddeningly typical up until 1955. Census records, soil samples, weather reports, hand-drawn survey maps, the beginnings of satellite photos, all readily available for anyone with the patience to walk themselves into a county office. But those materials don't tell me much, and I quickly am forced to turn to more dubious sources. Before the downing of multiple passenger planes, and the subsequent establishment of the no-fly zone in 1962, crude aerial photos are taken and circulated. This is where things get interesting. I find fuzzy shots of what appears to be entire mountains relocating overnight, buildings disappearing and reappearing at random, and lakes filled with water or light, depending on the time of day. The resolution is dubious making them inkblot tests in their own right. They are the stuff of dreams among amateur investigators and conspiracy theorists alike. The most outlandish, improbable, and extremely unverifiable stories came from breachers. People rumored to have jumped, tunneled, hot air ballooned their way through the walls. If they're to be believed, there is much to be uncovered. But more on that later. Limb technology is not paraded around in the press for long. As the government withdraws acknowledgement that it ever existed, the public's interest similarly begins to wane. Last verifiable activity is an exodus of ARTA employees from the zone, beginning in 1981 and followed swiftly by a full decommissioning of the zone in 1987. After which, those 3,600 square miles are sealed away and left behind with no explanation. Two, minutes away from the populous, perfectly normal city of Seattle, with decades of history and secrets locked inside. And that is where I'm left to fill in the enormous ill-defined gaps. All right, guys, let's vamanoose. Oh, but we're gonna look at the. Uh, we're gonna look at that sketchy thingy. I think I ended up having to put some extra of that stuff in here. Sketchy. Hmm. Yeah, it seems to put some kind of, um, this little almost looks like a, a sketch, a sketched, um, you know, drawing or something like that, which I don't like, by the way. So we're going to go back to our white racing stripes.
Okay. Now we're gonna take off. Um. Start her up. Have to get used to putting this in gear again, but again, having that uh, auto shifter thingy was a kind of a mixed blessing. There's our bartender guy on the dash there, the little bobblehead dude. <laughs> oh, it looks like we can go anyway, any place we want to. Like, could I go here? I can. So we don't have to go to the places I scanned. Um, the thing is though, is it's not telling me if we have two, I really just want to find some tourists and get back to get the engine so we can get to the mid zone. Uh, oh, look at that. That has unstable power and it's got that anchor party. Got a decent amount of unstable power, too. And I think it's... That's that's a highway zone, right? Yeah, let's, let's go there. All right, so I guess we're going to have to go through the highway zone and get on the other side of it. If we spot any tourists or cars with armored panels, we'll definitely stop and grab them. All right, well, go ahead and charge my battery. I do very minimal damage to my car because it's fully insulated. All right, we're definitely going to stop here and check this box truck out. <laughs> hey, look at that. I will take it. I love the blow torches. Oh, this is cool. It's got a It's got a number on it. All right. I like that. And we've got a mischievous Malcolm um bobble, I guess. Okay. That was some pretty good stuff. Um Let's put all of that stuff in there. And uh, I think I'll keep that in there for now, too. Might as well check the trunk here. Love having this storage on top of here. This is great. Uh, let's, let's put those in there, too. I kind of like working the shifter anyways, it's just, it's part of the driving experience. Oh nice, we have an investigator. Very nice. Okay, let's see what it has in back first. There's one crystal, no, we got him. Nice, okay, we got both of the crystals we need. Fantastic. Um, does it have an armored door? Sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. No, nah, but that's okay, because we got the we got the crystals we needed. Okay, cool. Uh, let me go ahead and get the stuff off of this. No room for the gears. We're just going to have to... get some limb power, uh, some anchor power 
to make a gateway back out. I know you can cancel the mission, but when you do that, you're, it damages your car pretty significantly. So I don't like that option. We might as well check this Arta Shed 2 while we're here. Give me those chemicals, baby. That's one one of the things in this game that I just never can seem to get enough of. Of course, that might change. Uh, that might change once we can start using the blowtorch regularly for repairing. I don't know. Does my car seem to be bouncing up and down every time I get in it? What the hell? You know, I'm not even surprised. <laughs> it does seem to be kind of unusually bouncy, though. I don't know. I guess when we get back to the shop, we'll have to see if, if, there's a, if it has a quirk. Sometimes it seems to do odd things, and I think it has a quirk, but it doesn't when I get back to the shop, so I don't know. Backroads Remote Blistering Woods. Okay. So that terrain is fairly gradual, so maybe we can just go cross-country to grab all of these. Uh, there is a repair and a recharge station, so if we can get to that before things get ultra nasty, uh, we shall do so. Uh, but usually when you go into these really high risk zones, a storm, you know, starts up pretty, pretty quickly. So you don't have, you know, all the time in the world to do everything. How about if we back up here? And slowly go down through here. Lots of boulders and big trees to try and avoid. There's a tanker, but I mean, we're pretty good on fuel, so I think I'm going to just skip that in the interest of time. Another tanker. Okay, we'll definitely stop and hit the investigator. I think I'll keep the engine running. And there's our first uh, thingy, too. What is that? That's a crude door. Okay. Uh, we got two more crystals. Beautiful. Love those investigators, man. Yep, here comes the storm already. Yeah, we can't dilly-dally. It just doesn't give you enough time in these zones to do much. Thank goodness there was a boulder there. That's the uh, electricity thing that shoots your car forward, obviously. <laughs> um, yeah, damaged our door and our hood. But, uh, uh, damn it. Brutal, man. Okay. 
continue going after the power. I wonder if um if I turn my car completely off, if that would prevent it from just taking off like that. This is a pretty decent amount of unstable power though, so it's gonna be worth the car damage that we take. Okay, let's turn the car all the way off. This may not matter, but we'll find out. For some weird ass reason, my uh, side light just went on, so let's turn that back off. You don't need it on, and it'll drain battery power. Well, we do need that on, though. Okay. Turn the car off. Turn the headlights off. That's a dust bunny. It's going to be a pain in the ass. Off my car, asshole. Oh, god damn it. It isn't one thing, it's another. I'm going, what the hell's going on? Uh. Well, oh, right. Okay. That's the thing that was holding the power. All right, we need to get the hell out of here. Um, so let's just get on the road and then we'll... Doesn't look like there's any gateways for us. So we'll have to uh, just exit and go into the next zone. We have 4.3 K then, so we have plenty of power. Yeah, these zones are like so chaotic, but that's what they're designed to be. Are we near the road? No, we need to go and to bypass it because of all the other shit that was in the way. There we go. Okay, so we should be able to just follow this road all the way down, and I think we'll be okay on time. The storms... Well, at least the, the deadly part of the storm won't close in on us before we get there, unless something really bad happens, like this, for example! <laughs> it's terrible! Alright. Uh, yeah, you know what? Just because so many things are occurring out of my control... He missed us. Oh, shit. Let's just go. I know I theoretically might have some time to do some looting, but I think we better play this safe. I just want to get back and get our new engine now anyways. I seem to be driving really slowly too, which is weird because there's nothing wrong with my engine and... Oh, shit. Uh, nothing wrong with my engine and nothing wrong with my tires. So why am I going so slow? Don't get it. Oh, you know what? Uh, no. Okay, never mind. I thought that was a... Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We got this thing. I forgot about this. Okay, this will help. This is a recharge and a repair, all in one. Very nice. I'm not going to get out and grab that toolbox. <laughs> not in this crap. Just waiting for it to repair my hood. Is it going to? Okay, just got the front bumper. And it didn't get the hood all the way up, but hey, I'll take it. Less repairing for us to have to do when we get home. 
Okay, we got a skedaddle. Uh, we need to turn left up here to get to the gateway. We picked up 4.3 units of unstable power. That's pretty good for one zone. It's really good for one zone, actually. Now I have no context of the, of what's going to happen in the mid zone. I'm just talking about for the outer zone. That seems pretty good. <clears throat> Whew, okay, we made it through that nasty place. Um, I mean, I guess we could just continue on. I mean, I, I wanted to have the the better engine, but. If we can't make any gateways in G3, we might not have a choice anyways. We'll see. Midnight Forest. Okay, this might be one of those perpetual dark places. I didn't notice it. Yeah, eerie darkness and the shocking speed. I hate that damn shocking speed. Okay, let's pause here for a second and um, I'm going to grab, let's grab this putty. We have, we have the torch up here and it's half power. So let's use up the putty first. Um, I want to just top a couple things off here. We need filler for all four three of those doors. Yeah, my car seems to be bouncing up and down. I bet you we have a, a glitch or a, a quirk or whatever. Um, let's see, what am I doing? I'm making three ceiling kits. takes care of that stuff. Um, I think we're in pretty good shape otherwise. So it, it, it was very fortuitous that we ran into that, uh, you know, repair station and recharge station. Okay. Um, let's also fix ourselves up with some food and we've got several small spots in here lots of looting uh, lootable places there and some in uh, in this area too yeah I noticed that okay so let's go grab this energy first I mean we might as well since we're here right Man, those lights are awesome. I won't run them in, unless we need them, though, because they drain the battery pretty quickly. Or the batteries. I have two. I um, guess we could stop and get some electronics, but no, you know what? I, I, don't, I don't think I'm going to do a whole lot of looting right now. I want to just get... I want to get the power and get back home so we can get our engine made and get to the mid zone. Okay, there's the power off that way. back towards the road.
I forgot to... Oh, God. I forgot to turn the car off. What if we... Oh. Nope, that wasn't smart. <laughs> I was going to try a jumping jack over that thing, but I wasn't, uh, it grabbed me before I could get the car in position. Okay, let's go. Uh, I don't want to run into spikes, so don't be pointing towards the spikes. Yee! Shit! <laughs> Yowzers! Okay, that, that could have gone a lot worse. <laughs> Uh, all right, let's look at the map here. Um, we're actually going the wrong direction. I'd go cross country here if I, if that, if I knew that was downhill, and not uphill. Hmm. Okay. Well, we don't have a storm quite yet, so we have a little bit of time. There goes my car bouncing up and down on its own accord again. Maybe we go to that point, see if we can get across here and then cross over this way. Okay. Yeah, I think we have a, I think we have a, a quirk for sure. Those spikes were so we have to be. Oh, there they are. I see them. Okay. Hmm. Well, hopefully, we can make it up here. that thing. I think, is this the hot dust thingy? Yeah. There we go. I've seen that thing almost since day one, and for whatever reason... I haven't scanned it until now, but now we have. Better late than never. I think that's maybe a bolt bunny. Now, we could go back the other, since we don't have a storm coming yet, yet being the keyword, we might as well go back and grab these other two things of power. But again, like I said, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna really spend any time per se looting. This zone is pretty damn dangerous. Turn our car off. See. Oh, okay. So it doesn't. 
it doesn't matter if the car's off or not. Um, it still causes you to lurch forward. All right. Well, now we know. I kind of suspected maybe that was the case, but um, our front bumper is in bad shape, as is our uh, our light here. I mean, it's not the light's not in bad shape, but if there's ever a zone you want to keep your lights in good condition, it's these eerie darkness zones. One more power thingy, and then we'll get the hell out of here. Hey, look at this. Let's get some gas. Might as well top off while we have the opportunity. Beautiful. Okay. Um, oh. Has that been there all along? I don't know. Let's mark this one. that one next so we can just get in the car and go. Every time I see those green growing, the glowing lights, I'm, I think it's a, a beating heart, which will heal us. But most of the time, it's the stupid these guys, um, which we can tell you to fuck off. Get out of here. There we go. Limb pulse emitter, baby. It is your best friend. Absolutely your best friend. comes our storm. That waited a lot longer than usual, which is fine with me. this road eh, and go this way. Stay away from the spikes. Okay, I'm going to stop for just a second here. Um, 
let's put these in here. Okay, and then our car. Our hood's in pretty rough shape. Let's get that topped off real quick. Top off the lights. Bumper? Yeah, the bumper's taking some hits. And and what the hell, let's just do the panels too. Because I've got a blowtorch with half capacity even once we do run out of the, the putty, so might as well top it off. Okay, so car's in pretty good shape. Um, looks like we just have to go through a tunnel here to get to the exit, so let's do it. Oh, says I got the doors open. Sure enough. Hey, look at that, investigator. We will stop for that. Uh, the storm's not super close, so we're we're fine. More crystals and some dumpster pearls, too. That in our hands. Oh, maybe that wasn't a good idea. Some of these can hurt you. Okay, you get that in there. And I'm just going to transfer all that into there, too. Okay, do you have an armored door? You don't. Those are summer tires. I think I'm going to skip the tires. Let's go. Yeah, <laughs> see that thing bouncing all by itself? I love my shock absorber gear shifter. I don't know, it just seems, it's just really cool. I like it. All right, let's see if we can wait for this to chillax. I guess it looks like we have a straight enough road to where yeah see that son of a bitch is just going back and forth so let's just go we could try and jump over it oh yeah there we go see now that's why the jumping jacks are actually useful even though you do take a little bit of damage made it to the exit. Okay, so uh, let's stop here for a second. So I think this is the exit that's going to take us to the mid zone, I think, isn't it? Because there's no gateways for me to get out of here. Um, <clears throat> all right, well, our car's in pretty good condition overall. Uh, we still have plenty of storage, we have plenty of fuel, we have plenty of power. So, why not? Let's do it. I, I wanted to go... I wanted to go into the... Uh, or go home and get the new engine first, but... That's just not the way it played out here, so... Yeah, so it looks like that is our only option. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to enter the mid zone. God help us.
All right, so we are... Oh, we've got a way out right here and a couple more things of power. So this would seem to be the wall. So maybe this junction... Hmm, what's going on here? What are all these thingies? All right, so we could, we could still leave, go home, repair, put the new engine in and come back. This is the objective area, it says, but I have a feeling like once we get over there, some, something scripted's probably gonna happen. So let's just roll with it and see. Yeah, let's just roll with it and see what happens. Um, I'm going to fix myself up a little more, too. Okay. We have a fuel station up ahead. We can top off. Might as well do some looting here. Another dumpster pearl, that's good. This roof storage is super handy. Get some gas. We don't need a whole lot, but again, we'll top off when the opportunity presents itself. And let's just pop in here real quick. Got a workbench. Um, we probably, yeah, see, we don't have all the other stuff that we would need. Yeah, okay. Nope. I was just thinking if we could maybe make the engine here, but we have all that other stuff back at the base that we also need. Oh, there we go. Echo Vind. Spud Light. Alright. That, go, that goes on our antenna, it looks like. Anything back here? Looks like that's it. Okay. Let's look at our map. I guess we'll just go down this road. Look at that wall, man. It's crazy. I think it's enormous, too. Ah, uh, we got some bunnies. Missed, missed, missed. Suckers. There's the expansion wall, which separates the outer zone no, from they didn't the mid zone, and more importantly, us from those two idiots. This will get you one step closer to the deep zone. It's far past its prime, so watch your step. Okay. Um. Are we supposed to go through those? Oh, I bet you we're supposed to go through those tubes. How interesting. Well, let's grab the 
let's grab the anchor power first. Might as well. what just showed up. Can I get in there? Without... Okay, here's what we're going to do. Back up. Let's see if we can get some crystals. Oh, shit. see any crystals from that batch I I hit the right mouse button because to aim and um, it ejected oh God, ejected the flare could we see the crystals if they were in this water Oh yeah, here we go. Look at that. What's this? Oh, that's just another piece of plastic. That stuff. Um, those explode. Oh, here's another one. Those explosions scattered this stuff all over the place. My goodness. Okay. There's some plasma over there. Guess we'll grab it. Might as well. And there's. Oh, okay. No, that's a. Let's get rid of you first. Okay. We'll watch to see where it's going to arc next. Right towards me. No, some. Oh, well. Oh, shit. I hate it when I do that. Don't let it go back all the way and then it. I do have, um,. The first, I think it's the first tier of of the insulated jacket on, so I don't take as much damage from shock. But of course, it doesn't make us immune to it either. So that's where we go through. How interesting! Look at that wall. That's crazy. Okay, let's go back and get the other power. And then decide what we're going to do. Honestly, I'm inclined to go home and get our new engine and then come back. But let's go get the other power first and then I'll make a decision. Another crystal. I should have turned my lights off. Drain of the battery. Uh, we don't need we don't need the side lights on. Yeah, that took our battery way down. That was not smart of me. Oh well. Um, do I have a recharge kit? I do. I'm just gonna use it now, just in case something happens and we. Need battery power immediately. Just hit myself in the head. Let's take one of these to kind of top off a little bit. Alright, so we just need to go probably 
yeah, this is all uphill here, so let's just go back to the road. And then we'll go get the thing. The other thing that would be nice to do is to fix the quirk on the car before we go into mid zone as well. I mean, I don't know how much that's ultimately going to matter because what's going to happen is we're probably going to go into the mid zone and then the car's going to get the shit beat out of it anyways. <laughs> but on the other hand, that is a good argument for making sure it's in tip top condition before we go there. You know what I mean? So I don't know. We'll see. Doctor up there. I wish there was a way you could destroy the abductors. Let's go up this way. This is good. We'll park here. Turn the lights off. Go away, man. Looks like he's maybe stuck in the trees. If we're going to use those exits, we're going to have to get back up the road. If we go through here, then we have an exit into a new zone. You know what? Screw it. Let's just do it. We'll just get out of the mid zone as soon as we can. Uh, do I have any putty left? I don't. How, how badly damaged are you? You're almost half. Yeah, I want I want my limb pulse emitter in particular to be in good shape. We gotta keep that thing repaired. As soon as we can get the marsh eggs, then we can just make these torches, and then we don't have to mess with putty any longer. Okay. That gets our car in Pretty damn near, well, not perfect condition, but good enough. Let's do this, you guys. I wonder if um, I'm going to want to try those water tires, because I think the mid-zone has a lot of marsh. All right, here we go. What could possibly go wrong? Give ourselves a little boost. Are we inside the wall? Okay, hold on, let's get the map. Oh, okay, so it's kind of like a Uh, like a DMZ or something. There's a big tower up that way. This is crazy, man. Let's turn our side floodlight on. I don't think we can get up there. I mean, it doesn't look like we can. See, I thought that tube was just gonna, like, teleport us, but we're actually driving through them, which is really cool. <laughs> And I think we have a quirk with our wipers, too. Okay. Oh, this is neat. Look at this. Wow. 
Okay, uh... I guess we go this way. Just wanna... Just curious to see what's down this way. There's another building, but I don't know if we can get to it. Looks like we're going to come to a dead end here. Very cool. I'm going to look at something here. The map said there was a building over here. Oh. Oh, shit. Um. Stay out there. Oh, I guess I can't close the door. Look at all this stuff in here, man. The transmuter. There we go. We got a new flare gun. Don't see anything else. Oh, here we go. I was going to say, I don't see anything else in here. Let's do this. No crystals. Oh, look at this A little parkour action. Maybe that's just a shortcut to get back out. Alright, well, we picked up a couple more things from that uh, little adventure there. Let's move on. And yes, I should have turned the car off, but I wasn't expecting to be gone that long.
can't go that way. Shit ton of dudes. Oh, what the hell was that? Okay. Um, we managed to get one crystal out of that deal. Some more plastic. Don't really care about that so much. I got a million bazillion of those. Um, let's save our flare gun. Flare and crystal. Look at that. Nice. The red. Wait, did what the hell just happened? Is that a crystal over there? Nope. Let's get a little closer. Sounds like more of these guys are blowing up, but I don't see them. I shot a crystal way the hell over here. Get some plasma. Did it again. Gotta let that come all the way back. the rest of this glass. That's another thing I have in abundance. I wasn't expecting to have like an area like this that we can, you know, could get out and walk around and this is really neat. This is so cool in here, man. It's like we're inside the wall or something. Just, you know, just even the size of this thing is, it's gargantuan. I mean, imagine how much, you know, how much concrete and steel it would have taken to build this. If, if indeed it were a real thing. Okay, let's get this plasma. Okay, let's move. I don't think I've been doing my battery any batteries any favor. Yeah, see that battery's already all the way down. Um, I can make. I should be able to make another. Uh, can I? Liberator hand vac. No, here. Yeah, battery jumper. Okay. 
need to learn the cattle prod thingy too. Okay, let's get moving here. Um, I think we go all the way down here and it looks like there might be a way to get out uh, further down based upon what I'm seeing on the map there. Dudes, you're right in the middle of the road. Uh, here. Turn the lights off to conserve. Wait, I said turn the lights off. There. Crystals. Don't see any. Okay. Oops. Okay, let's go. We need to find an exit to the left. And this tower is probably going to zap us. I think the game's just trolling us. Because it's making the explosion sounds without... Oh, you know what? We're going to run out of a of hammer. Okay. Glad I noticed that. this stuff. Okay, let's go. That's just... Yeah, that's just that flare. our way out is going to be over here. way maybe yeah it looks like maybe there's a tunnel right here Yeah, I think this is it. Okay.
Okay. So it looks like we just turn right and then head out through the exit. Very cool. Let's do it. Now we're actually seeing some more mountainous terrain off in the distance there. And we have made it into the exclusion zone. This is cool that it only takes two jumps for a gateway, whereas this one actually takes three, which is odd. Um... Okay, so what we're going to do is, um, I, you know, in fact, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and wrap up this episode here. I'm going to pause the game and then just pick up right where we left off because we have gone a very long time, <laughs> way longer than I had planned uh, in this episode. So, uh, yeah, we'll just pick up right where we left off in the next one. So thanks, everybody, for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed uh, this episode. And if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment, share the video, and we'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.